Hey there, knife fans. This is the Love Them Knives channel. And I'm LTK, and I'm here to talk to you about some real steel knives. We're going down the budget road, so if you're not into budget knives, this might not be your video. Even if you're not into budget knives, this might be your video. Check this out. The Real Steel Sea Eagle. Wow, carbon fiber. Very shiny. Nice satin grind on this. I really, <laughs> I didn't know what to expect. I ordered it on the, uh, on the recommendation of my buddy Wes up in New York. And he says, you know, uh, well, he saw the real steel Megalodon I did. This baby doll. This is a numbered edition and, you know, all fancy M390 and, uh, and titanium frame lock. Well, he goes, and I'm saying, you know that real steel brand? They were putting out some really good quality knives at good prices. And he goes, yeah, I think I already know about that. And then he was telling me about the Sea Eagle. And he has one. He says, wow, I mean, that is a sweet knife. And you know what? I got this on his recommendation. And I'm glad I followed his recommendation. They come in. Let me show you the box. I mean, really, I mean, it's, I know it's Chinese knives and, and these are budget knives and they're not terribly expensive. Here it says, it says blur is what it says. Come on, guys, really? Sea Eagle. G10 plus carbon. So it's a, okay, G10 carbon fiber laminate. Really feels like just carbon fiber. Like, no G10 there at all. Of course, this may be G10 is what they're talking about. Because this really doesn't feel like it. It's very thin. It's very... I don't know. In any case, it's really elegant. It's really nice. And, you know, check this out. Well, okay, there's the box. Paperwork. And what's nice about it, they all come with a really nice cleaning cloth with a real steel emblem on it. I mean, they come wrapped in here, so they're not in a piece of plastic. They just come wrapped in that cloth in this fitted box. You know, really nice. So they're in, in, in the tube of the, of the wrap around them. And then the, the paperwork on top. And a uh, piece of foam. And, I mean, it's not just a slide open. I mean, you know... It's pretty nice. Made in China. Whew. Wow, what a knife. So let's talk about it. Because they both, both these knives, one, this one's just G10. This is not carbon fiber. See, it's got texture here. See that? Not as shiny as this one. It's more like a stone wash, which it actually is a stone wash, and this is satin grind. So this is fancy downtown, and this is go to work. But I don't. I think they were just like five bucks difference in price, so I don't know. Uh, it just depends on how much you want, like a grippy and a non-reflective and a more working, uh, you know, setup on a knife. As opposed to flashy, you know, and more, you know, more out there look. I guess a more understated, elegant look, I guess I'm going to say. Man, I had to get into wine tasting. I got words. I got words. Okay, so you can see this pivot's open. You can see light through there. Yeah. The end. Yeah. I just thought that was cool. Wow. You got a backspacer, which I think is G10. Satin clip. And ball bearings. And that thing. Ooh, baby. It flips really good. This is oily smooth. This is oily smooth. And you know what? These things are not that expensive. What are they like? 45 bucks or something. 
Uh, I can't remember what the retail is supposed to be on those. Uh, I, I, you know, I kind of passively looked real quick at maybe Knife Center or somewhere online. But they're not very expensive. And they have that Sandvik steel. Check this out. 14C28N. So there you go. I mean, that's at least equivalent to 440 in my book or OS8, that kind of thing. And you can argue. I mean, I saw a guy on Blade Forms arguing he likes this better than S30V. So, I mean, you know, everybody's got their own, you know, their own groove. Uh, so I'm saying, no, this ain't junk steel, that's for sure. Not by a long shot. I, actually, I mean, this was developed for Kershaw. Yes, they used it in their knives for several years. It's very corrosive resistant. Um, in fact, they put extra chromium and nitrogen in here to make it so. But it still holds a good edge, sharp. It was designed for use in cutlery. Yes, it was. And it will cut paper. If I will hold the paper, it'll cut it. Oh, come on, baby. Go the other way. There you go. Oh, we're just carving it off. So, yeah. It'll cut paper all over my desk. Really, guys? Really? Okay. Housekeeping. Yeah. So, what do you like? Stonewash? You like Uptown? You like them both? I like them both. Yeah, I like this blade design. Does this remind you a little bit of the Enland el one Was that what you were thinking in the back of your mind when you were looking at this? It did to me just a little... I don't have mine out on the table. Hell, I only got so much room on the table. But yeah, liner lock, what's the lock up? Eh, pretty good, like 25%. That that way and always, always. And look at this. Centered right up. Centered right up. Looks like pretty heavy stock. Hey, let's take a look. See what we got on this dog for... So we, it's half inch, so that's your standard, you know, fare. What do we got for that? Let's see what we can do with our caliper. 0.138. This is not as easy. I should have, I should have done something different here. So three and a half. Yeah, there you go. So we're talking about three and a, three and a half millimeter. It's over an eighth inch thick. Yeah, nice design like the open pivots, love this carbon fiber. It's not a real thick scale, it's a real thin type scale. But that just kind of makes it cool. And I like the way they layer the scale on top of the frame of the knife. I don't know that we even need to get the magnet out, everything's magnetic on here. But, you know, I mean, you, so you got the steel frame It's skeletonized. You can look in there. Yeah. They got her cut out on the top. You can see back there. Yeah. What do you think it weighs? Let's bring Mr. Mr. Scale forward. Wow. Okay. Make up your mind. 4.3, 4.4. Let's see what the G10 version does. <laughs> Dang. Doesn't matter, does it? And that is 122 grams. Pretty light. Pretty nice. Okay, hold on. Been dying to find out. I know it's not a four inch blade. Well, it's over three and a half. Three and five eighths, all of that. Nine and a half centimeters. Eight and three quarter overall. Eh, a little over 21 centimeters. So eight and three quarter, but it's longer blade than three and a half. So yeah, this is my range here. Uh, when you get over 3.3, you kind of get into my range. Uh, and really, once you get over three and a half, it's more the kind of carry that I prefer. I like a bigger, bigger blade overall. <sighs> Pocket clip. What do you think? 
Are we going to are we going to have problems with this? You got a single I'm not seeing how that's specifically fastened on there, but it seems anchored pretty well and doesn't look like it's moving on me. I don't feel any movement there. So it's pretty good. Blades usable, mostly flat. Lots of thickness all the way down to the tip for piercing, not a problem. Jimping, not a problem. But other than that, you're not getting a lot of traction on this, not on this carbon fiber. But wow, I mean, uh, yeah, interesting design, very nice. Maybe a little bit more sophisticated, definitely, than the uh, Ganzo. I mean, uh, you know, doing this, this scale laid down, layered down over a steel frame, these open pivot design, this really nice, smooth ball bearing pivot. Uh, yeah, yeah. Better flipper than a Ganzo. But Ganzo's a good knife, but Ganzo's like 20 bucks. These are, you know, 45, 50, 55. I can't remember what they get for these, but more. But I can, I can see it. These are a different deal. Wow, boy, that's smooth. God, that's smooth. I wish you could feel that. I wish you could hold it in your hand and feel that. That is really, that's ridiculous. That is really ridiculously smooth. Uh, you can fail it, but very, you have to be real lazy to fail it. Push button, no problem. Light switch, no problem. Oh, God, it just... So they can't be that much. No, there's not. There's not that much detent because they come out, but they're not rocketing out. They're just smooth coming out. And I really like that, actually. Let's see about this one. Ooh, a little different feel. Not. It's smooth. I think the detent's a little stronger on this one. Yeah, it is a little bit stronger on this one. So it's holding back a little bit longer, but still very smooth, very nice. Wow. And as I, you know, I haven't really messed with them much. As I do so, wow. I mean, you get the polishing cloth, you get a nice looking box, you get paperwork. You know, and you have your choice of G10, or carbon fiber. Is there a place in the world for the Sea Eagle? Yeah, I think so. I think so. And you know, it just depends on how you look at the design on this knife. I like it. I really do. At first, I wasn't sure when I saw the pictures before I got it in. I wasn't so sure. I got it just to get it because I felt obligated to kind of maybe give it a shout out. But when I got it and held it, and opened it and checked it out and really looked at the design. I warmed up to this. I really did. This is a great carry knife. Uh, it's not too thin. Feels good in the hands. You got some jimping up here. But you know, you got a really usable blade. Very sharp. Good steel in my book. I mean, very good usable steel. And you can argue that all day. I'll put a link to the... Uh, I got an article on this, this particular steel, uh, the 14C28N, and they did some testing and this and that. And you can look at the mill sheets and stuff. You can look at the spec data sheets on it uh, and make your own decision. A little bit more chromium, a little bit more nitrogen, but very corrosion resistant, made for more of a high humidity environment. Especially like chefs in the kitchen, that kind of humidity. Not like saltwater diving, but very cor cor corrosion resistant to that too. So, uh, yeah, this is used in uh, cutlery for kitchens a lot. No problem with that. This, very smooth, very elegant, no stone wash, it's satiny, it's very shiny, very more upscale looking. Only a couple dollars more. So it's just a matter of taste. It's not a big 
difference in price. But yeah, I like them. Um, sea Eagle. E771. And <laughs> we're not going to let you read this one. Same E771, but it's a G10 stone washed. So there you go. Hey guys. Hey, I appreciate you. Oh God, 15 minutes. Crap. I get caught up and then I just keep going. Oh, shut up. All right. Thank you so much. Real steel is the real deal. As far as I'm concerned, and you know me, I love them knives.